Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is how do they feel about your tarot reading session for you. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. This reading for today is for the Aquarius friends, okay? Today we're going to look at how your person feels about you and how you um, feel towards them vice versa. So this is like how do they feel about your reading uh, from them to you and you to them. Hope it's not confusing. <laughs> This is you versus them reading, okay? What's the feelings? All right, okay. What's happening to your card? Okay, let's start shuffling again. What can I get for Aquarius? How do they feel about you reading? Okay. All right. So first up is that I'm going to get um, four cards for your person, how they feel towards you from past to present, okay? This is your person's energy. This is your person's feelings, past to present. And then I'm going to pull another four cards for your energy, Aquarius. From past and then from the present okay and then one more card for the mutual energy what's the mutual energy is the death card is in reverse or you could be dealing with a Scorpio whenever I see the death card is in reverse this is something um this is unfinished business all right whatever took place in the past to present you know that there is still a strong hold between you and your person. There's still a pull together, whether it's telepathically, via dreams, intuitively. Um, you know that this this is is this not this is not over. Okay, um, they still want you, and you still want them. There's a there's a vibe between the two of you connecting you to to continue or to complete to fill in whatever you have not completed in the past to to press it. Okay. There's some stuff that you need to process. And I think your person also is at the same page as you are. That whatever took place in the past to now, if if it's worth um it's worth clearing the I don't know, the dearth, the issue, in order to see whether there's a chance for you and this person to blossom or to get things into a more um secure. Okay. Um how do your how does your person feel about you in the past? Um You've got the Capricorn card or the Devil card and Seven of Cups. So for some of you, how they feel towards you in the past, it was just casual. It was just like a sex-based relationship. It was not serious. It was a fling. It was something they don't expect to um, to keep. You know, it's not for keep. It's, it's something that's bringing toxic and sex and something that's a bit addictive, okay? But again, this is still a connection. It's a sure connection, but it's toxic, it's addictive, it isn't proper, all right? It's it's not labeled, it's not defined. Um, from past to present, I felt like your person, they're moving out from this devil, okay? I felt like your person, this is your person, they're looking at the white um, animal in here. I think your person is going to steer the direction towards you in a more, this, this is black and white, so... They're really eyeing to get rid of the devil, make it right for you. The progress. Ten of Swords. I felt like this person, how they feel towards you is that they know that um, whatever you and them um, shared in the past or whatever you and them connected in the past, it was it was bad. It's like a bad romance. It was like a bad setup. It was like a bad beginning. It was not cool. It's dark. Look at the devil card. Look at the devil card. Look at the ten of swords. Look at the uh, the death card. It's all shady, gloomy. Now your person is heading towards something clear and bright. Okay? So I feel like your person between now up until July, they will be in and out communicating with you until they find that courage to be stable. Okay? It's still a bit shaky. All right? Because your person is traveling, steering the... You know, it's like they're maneuvering their way towards out of the dark into the light. Okay, so there's a bit of glitch. There's a bit of imperfection along the way um, from your from your person navigating back to your connection. If you stay present, if you stay in the moment, if you trust your person, I think by July, you would clear things out. You know, it's going to be stronger. All right. Um, and then um, from your side, um, Aquarius, you've got here... Um, the hangman in reverse and the lover's card in reverse so it could be that you have released this person or you break up or you have release or detach or move on because 
they're not giving you the lover's energy okay this is a soulmate connection this is what you want and i don't think you're earning this to this person the devil card when this is an upright this is the reverse version of the lover's card okay you are connected you're very much connected in an addictive way all right you're connected into something something great and powerful but it's so strong you cannot define it's out of control it's a connection that it's out of control it's a connection where it's undefined like you feel strongly the emotions the feelings but it's weird or it's not set up properly or it's something eccentric okay it's something odd but feels good so you know that um the connection is great, powerful, feels good, but it's not healthy. So for some of you, you move on, you detach. But part of you at the moment, at the present, the current feelings you have is that you want to go back. You want to revisit it. Given the chance, you would like to try it all over again. But you have hesitation, you know, seven of pentacles. Um, you want to try it again, but you know that it could fail if it's just you alone who wants the connection. It's, it's more of your thinking process in here is that I would like to go back. I would like to connect again, but I want to make sure that it's a connection where me and my person is heading towards worth investing. Because the seven of pentacles in reverse, this is like, this is lost. You connected. There was some sort of connection between the two of you, but it was a lost. Okay. You build up something. You want more of it. But the more you stay together, the more the more you build up something strong, but it's it's shaky. It's it's getting stronger in a bad way. It's like a bad romance. Um, so that's a bad investment. It's it's like um, you know someone gave you money from robbing a bank and you deposited it to another bank to earn an interest. This is the vibe I'm getting in here. And um, yeah, so I feel like between now specifically you know this is may this is five of pentacles so may month up to july i'm seeing you and your person connecting reconnecting again it's glitchy it's not perfect there's some sort of spark um if you continue tapping into the devil's energy then it might end up the same scenario in the past that's why you're being reminded that the glitch is that you keep coming back to the you keep coming back to how you label your stuff in the past so in short in short, for some of you, don't sleep with this person without really defining what you and them are. Like, this time around, the second time around, make it right. Date, you know, call regularly, text regularly, date. Um, and before you go physically intimate, you know, you, you need to connect emotionally so that you clear this bad vibe. This is really bad vibe between the two of you okay or for third party make sure make sure that you are traditionally going through the right way of dating or getting to know no matter how strong it is there's some form of control required in your situation okay so this is you thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here today i hope you like the reading if you do don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and i hope to see you soon again and wherever you are, you are right now stay safe keep safe and take care bye bye